guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin in universe 7 the mighty god beerus was very thoughtful just like he was too bored hey Wes, if there's something interesting to do i'm sick of all this boredom i want to fight something or do something interesting my lord unfortunately there's nothing that can be done Although, if you wish, I can train you so that you are able to overcome more and more of your limits. Oh damn, I am already the most powerful god in all the universes. It's no use to make me much stronger if no one's able to stand up to me. While both were talking, a powerful explosion throughout Universe 7 would make the planet of Beerus rumble. So powerful that the explosion been that on this occasion even caused the powerful planet of the god Beerus to be destroyed in some parts, which even left him surprised. Hey Wes, take me immediately to where that powerful explosion originated. The level of destruction must be of amazing scales to be able to cause even my planet to be destroyed in some parts. Both deities at a great speed had headed towards where the explosion had occurred. So when they arrived, they were surprised to notice how an extremely muscular being, just like his Saiyan tail, moved all over the place. That's right, the warrior belonged to one of the most powerful races. However, he'd been able to take his power to a level beyond an ordinary Saiyan. Beerus, when he arrived at the place, he was surprised to notice the powerful warrior between the explosion. Who are you? You don't possess the divine energy, but your mortal energy is incredible. So much so do you have to be able to cause all this mess. I am the most powerful Saiyan of this whole place. And if you're able to stand in front of me, you must be able to possess incredible power. So I hope you're prepared. Beerus, without being able to observe anything, had been sent to fly at an incredible speed. So much so that he had the power that Beerus was impacting with the planet, had completely destroyed it. So Beerus would immediately recover, increasing a large part of his power, with which he would begin to walk towards Emoshi. I'm the god of destruction, and I'm not just any god. I'm the most powerful god among the 12 gods. It seems amazing to me that you, a mere mortal's been able to beat me. Beerus would throw a powerful blow against Yamoshi, but to the surprise of both deities, Yamoshi was able to stop Beerus' blow with only one of his hands without the slightest effort. I've never heard of the existence of gods, but if that's what you said's real, I want to fight with all the gods. But if they're like you, <laughs> they're too weak. Beerus, annoyed, would throw a big kick in Yamoshi's face, but to his surprise, Yamoshi at an amazing speed was able to move, taking him by the head, destroying planets and stars that were all over the place. That's right, Yamoshi had caused a great destruction with Beerus' body, so he would throw him towards another planet with a grate. <laughs> Are you really a god of destruction? It doesn't seem to me that you're able to be an insect anymore since not even an insect is as weak as you are. Beerus, with multiple wounds all over his body, would get to his feet, but large amounts of blood were spreading all over the place. Damn, my body's not able to withstand his punches. I can't believe the power his fist possesses. Yamoshi would begin to approach Beerus, which on this occasion, with all the pain of his body, would expel 100% of all his power. However, the cost to pay was incredible, because every one of his bones were destroyed. Beerus had thrown himself against Yamoshi, which began to exchange thousands of blows all over the place. That's right, Beerus, using 100% of all his power, hadn't been able to overcome it, only equalize it, which left him very surprised. This is amazing! I did not understand that the power of a Saiyan is able to reach such levels. He's even able to measure himself on equal footing with the most powerful god. The battle of both warriors would not last more than one hour, because on this occasion Beerus was suffering the effects of using 100% of all his power. So while exchanging blows, he would say, Damn, this happened to me because I'm not using 100% of all my power. For that reason, my body's not able to assimilate it completely, although I never had to use all my power. Beerus, being a little distracted, was surprised by a big blow to the stomach. And without being able to recover, Yamoshi, from a double blow, was able to send him to the ground, 
creating great chaos all over the place. So he had raised too much dust, but when all the fuss he had caused dissipated, it was possible to observe Beerus was in combat. Yamoshi, from the surface of the entire planet, would begin to carry a powerful sphere of energy in one of his hands. So, at the time of throwing it, he had planned to end the life of Beerus, but with a quick movement, he was able to deflect that powerful attack. I cannot allow you to end the life of my god of destruction, so in this case, I'll have to fight you. Wiz threw himself against Yamoshi, but as surprising as it may seem, Yamoshi was able to dodge Wiz's blow, so at the moment, both exchanged glances. I'm able to realize that you have much greater power than a god, but it is not time to finish with you. I will return, and when I return, I will finish with everything existing. Yamoshi of his own body was able to cause a huge explosion all over the place, disappearing on the spot, which left Wiz surprised. However, he would quickly take his god of destruction heading towards his planet, in which he would begin to heal each of his wounds, but he had not been able to wake up. Well, well, apparently the wounds that that warrior had caused him are serious wounds, because even though he had healed him, he wasn't able to wake up. Wiss, at the end of healing each of his wounds, he'd notice with a little of Beerus' blood would come out of each one of his wounds. So with his staff, he was able to get those drops of blood to stay fresh. I have an idea. So that Mr. Beerus doesn't get bored and that he is also much more active, Mr. Beerus will be a father. <laughs> this was how Wiss would start looking for some survivor of the same race. However, he had not had any success, since apparently Yamoshi had finished with the entire Saiyan race, so thousands of years had passed. He, even Yamoshi, had not given signs of life, so Whis, with his staff, would again start looking for survivors of the Saiyan race. Succeeding, however, these Saiyans were much weaker than the original race of the Supreme Saiyans. Hehe. <laughs> apparently, the first Saiyans were more powerful and bloodthirsty. That's okay, because with the power of a god and the power of the Saiyan warrior race, I'm sure an extremely powerful warrior will be born. Whis, with his great speed, would go to the planet of Vegeta, current planet of the Saiyan warriors. So, when he arrived, he would observe a beautiful woman who didn't possess warrior skills. However, a special blood ran through her entire body. Apparently, this warrior has a little bit of blood from the ancient Yamoshi. She, along with the blood of the Lord Beerus, will be born a very powerful warrior. Wiss would quickly get closer, so without Gine noticing, he was able to inject Beerus' blood into the sun Gine was carrying inside. That's all. Even if Mr. Beerus and Gine had not had contact in the slightest, the child that would be born with, from this crossing would be amazing. Wiss would return to his planet, since that event, a few months would pass, in which Kakarot, the son of Bardock, had been born. With practically zero power, however, that power was perceived by the angel Wiss, because Kakarot didn't possess the power of mortals. Kakarot was able to be born with the power of a god of destruction. So, he's finally been born. The power he was born with is amazing. I can't believe the power a simple child has been born with. Wiss would continue to observe everything thanks to his staff. However, Wiss would realize as the evil Emperor Frieza began to gather the entire army of the Saiyans with the intention of ending the entire warrior race. So Bardock had been able to send Kakarot to planet Earth, planet in which those were with no powerful warriors. Son, I hope that in the future you'll be able to take revenge on us. In the meantime, be happy and become a powerful warrior. I trust you, Kakarot. Bardock, with his great Saiyan determination, would begin to channel an incredible attack, with which he would try to face Frieza's super attack, however, it would be useless to him, since Frieza's powerful attack was able to finish off everything around him, including most of the Saiyan warriors. The character possessed by that warrior was incredible, but in that case, I don't think Kakarot will come to Earth. He will be trained by me personally. Wiss, with his great speed, was able to intercept the little Saiyan ship, so he was able to observe him. Hehe, <laughs> although you don't look anything like Mr. Beerus, since I try not to get your mother in trouble, Gine, the power of Beerus runs through every one of your veins, and I'm sure that in the not too distant future you will be able to annihilate Frieza. Wiss would quickly return to his planet with the little boy, so at the time of arrival, Wiss would begin to teach him everything. 
That's right, Whis began to raise the child. While Beerus was still asleep after the great battle against the legendary Yamoshi, it had already been about five years since Kakarot's arrival. But the power that Kakarot possessed was not the power that a five-year-old warrior should possess. Since Kakarot, on this occasion, had already been able to access even the Super Saiyan God. And the mixing such a state with the destructive energy of a God of Destruction, his power was increasing in surprising scales. Wow, I'm surprised by the power you possess, Kakarot. But now it's time to rest because for your power to grow, rest is also very important. As you say, Whis, I'll take a break. Then I'll be able to increase my power more. I already want to face Lord Beerus. <laughs> it's not time yet, Kakarot, believe it or not. Lord Beerus is considered the most powerful god of all the 12 universes. For that very reason, I want to become much more powerful to be able to defeat him. And I know that I'll be able to achieve it. Meanwhile, in a very distant planet, the God of Destruction, the Prince of the Saiyans, the Mighty Vegeta, had also been able to carry out a powerful training, since he would not allow Frieza to have destroyed his planet. So the Prince of the Warriors, being a prodigy warrior, was able to access the Super Saiyan. <laughs> With this warrior, I'm sure I'll make Frieza's useless one tremble. He won't be able to do anything against me. But I have to completely master this power since I can tell that the energy drain is incredible. Saiyan Prince would continue with his great training, which on this occasion was simply to be able to not waste so much energy in his Super Saiyan state. However, the power of Vegeta, despite being a prodigy, wasn't able to compare with the power of Kakarot, which had been able to be born with the power of a God of Destruction. Returning to the planet of Beerus, one night Kakarot had gotten up to the bathroom in which, at the moment, he would observe all the stars around Kakarot. However, for the first time, observed the full moon. So a new latent power inside Kakarot had awakened, because instantly, Kakarot's power would begin to grow in an incredible way. While he completely lost his reason, just as his body began to grow, taking the form of Zaru, beginning to destroy everything in his path, which this time would attract the attention of Beerus, the god of destruction, who would wake up very upset, since they had not let him sleep. I don't care who you are, I'll end your miserable life. You're on my planet, and I'm the god of destruction. Beerus, with the powerful scream, was able to push back that gigantic Ozaru, which was a few centimeters from Beerus. I don't know what happened to Whis. Apparently, he's not on the planet. Maybe the high priest has asked for his presence, but I'm able to take care of this useless. But Beerus was a little surprised to realize how that monkey will release a power very similar to his in his state of God of Destruction. On the planet of the powerful god Beerus, great rumblings were felt all over the place. While the great Ozaru's fur turned a purple color, implying that he possessed the power of destruction all over his body, Beerus, without caring about the kinship he had with his power, had thrown himself against him, being able to give a few blows all over that body of the great beast. However, to Beerus' surprise, his fists were bleeding due to the incredible hardness of the Ozaru. What the hell's going on? How's it possible that this beast has such hard skin? Even my fists are shattered. Beerus at the moment, with his great reaction speed, was able to dodge a great attack from the Ozaru, However, with his great tail, he was able to hit it, sending it to a very distant part of the planet, creating a great destruction all around. But with a great sound, the true power of Beerus would become present, with which a great aura would grow all over the planet. I must accept that you're a very powerful warrior, but you'll not be able to defeat me, since you're a damn beast. Beerus, as a great flash, would begin to deal in millions of blows. And as Ozaru had a large size, his speed was limited. So instantly, Beerus would begin to take the advantage, although all the bones of his arms would be completely destroyed because the power of Kakarot was able to emanate the essence of destruction even in the air. With which he'd been able to do that, the powerful god Beerus was affected, since all the air he breathed were like thousands of blades destroying his interior. Damn. I don't know how this damn beast came from, but I have to be able to finish it off in one of the next attack, since its destructive energy is much more aggressive than mine. Beerus would rise to the top of the planet, so he would begin to charge thousands of attacks, with which he intended to end the life of that beast, since the power condensed in each sphere of energy would destroy a galaxy. So destroying a single being shouldn't be complicated. Miserable beast dies! Atomic Devastator! 
all the energy spheres would be thrown against Kakarot, which seemed to be his inevitable end. However, with a powerful war, he was able to destroy each of the energy spheres, and likewise, cause great damage to Beerus, who this time would fall to the ground with multiple injuries. Damn it! How is he able to destroy all my energy spheres? Apparently, I'll have to use the power beyond a god once more. Beerus, with multiple bruises all over his body, as well as large amounts of blood were spreading all over his body, would stand up. So instantly, an incredible power would make the whole universe tremble. So much so that the power of the most powerful god on that occasion, Whis, was able to feel the essence of his god. Both by having a special connection, since each god and angel had a unique connection, being able to feel when their god releases the power beyond what they can bear. No. Apparently a new enemy has appeared. I doubt it's Yamoshi, but I'll have to get back quickly. What's going on, Wiss? Your countenance has completely changed. I'm sorry, Daishinkan-sama, but I have to go back to Mr. Beerus. I understand, Wiss, but everything that happens is under control. You come back as we come up with a plan for the tournament between multiverse. So it'll be, Father. With your permission, I retire. Wiss, at a great speed, would begin to move throughout outer space. Returning to the planet of Beerus, the power and pressure that his body released was incredible. So much so that this time, even the powerful beast would begin to take a few steps back, since having no reason, he was only guided by his instincts, which on this occasion warned him that being in front of him since the power of Beerus had changed completely, with which, on this occasion, the energy emanating from his body was capable of even disintegrating a god that was with a hundred kilometer range. I'm surprised you're still living, since the power of capable is being able to wipe out a god with my simple essence, and this power has only been able to withstand it. Damn you, Moshinor. Beerus had moved with such overwhelming speed, being able to connect a great blow in the stomach of that great beast, being able to cause an amazing damage. But the cost of that powerful blow had been to lose his entire right arm. However, Beerus, with an arm of destructive energy, was able to make him fall to the ground. So the moment he fell, he would create a disaster all over the planet. Beerus would immediately begin to approach that great beast. I can tell that your desire to fight and destroy everything are over. So at this moment, I'll end your existence. Beerus, at the moment, had been able to throw a large sphere of destructive energy. But being inches away from ending Kakarot's life, Whis was able to stop such an attack, prostrating himself in front of that beast, preventing its death. But Whis, what are you doing? This beast invaded our planet. Whis would approach the Ozaru, and with the help of his staff, he was able to make Kakarot return to normal, which left Beerus very surprised. Hey Whis, you want to explain to me what's happening? Because I don't understand. Mr. Beerus, as surprising it may seem, this Saiyan is your son. For the reason, he possesses the energy of destruction, but I was able to combine the two most powerful genetics of the Twelve Universes. Don't tell me that's what I'm thinking, Wiss. Maybe you've combined my god genetics with the genetics of a Sa- That's right, Mr. Beerus. I've combined your genetics with the warrior genetics of the Saiyans. For the same reason that Yamoshi warned that he would return, I know that this powerful warrior will be of great help to us. I understand, but how do you explain that he's my son, since I don't remember having any relationship with a Saiyan woman? <laughs> well, that's the easiest, because I'm able to implant her DNA into the Phoenix of that Saiyan possessed, so that Saiyan possesses her DNA. I understand, Wiz, I understand. In such a case, I want my son to be able to even surpass all the angels, since he has the potential to do so. He's been able to force me to use the power beyond God. That's right, and if at such a young age you are able to make him use the power beyond a god, imagine what his power will be like in a few years. It's not a waste of time. Better to train him once and for all. The night had passed quickly, so the next day Kakarot would wake up with his whole body aching. Yeah, my body hurts too much. I feel like a planet's fallen on me. <laughs> well, it's like a universe has fallen on you, Kakarot, since the blows of Mr. Beerus are not weak at all. But all this would only happen through the mind of Whis. So at the moment, Whis, with the help of the staff, was able to heal all the wounds of Kakarot, with which he had been able to obtain a powerful Zenkai, with which instantly his whole body had evolved, needing a much greater state, because his current state was not supported by the power he had obtained. 
so Kakarot would begin to release all his beastly power, being able to access the Super Saiyan Blue at such a young age. Wow, it's amazing the power Kakarot's been able to acquire, but it will be better to start training his new power, so that you possess a wear and tear of energy. <laughs> that's right, Wiss. Let's start with the new training. While Beerus was lying down in a distant part of the planet watching the progress of his little son, meanwhile returning to the Prince of the Saiyans, the powerful Vegeta was also able to control the Super Saiyan completely, not having any wear of energy with which he felt ready to end the life of Frieza. It's time. I have to end that wretch, since the only ruler of the universe must be me. Vegeta would take his ship, leaving the planet where Frieza was, which at the time of arriving at the Frieza army headquarters, he would be informed as the evil emperor had gone to another planet, in which, according to rumors, it was said that the inhabitants of the planet were capable of fulfilling wishes. Then the evil emperor Frieza, upon learning such information, would seek to possess immortality, so that nothing and no one would be able to take away the reign that he had been able to achieve. No, no. No, damn it! I can't allow that wretch to become immortal, because if he does, I'll be his slave for his whole existence. Vegeta would also go to the coordinates of that planet, so not being so far away, he was able to arrive in a few hours, realizing as the evil emperor, he had been able to collect six mysterious spheres. But by the trackers they had, Vegeta was able to inform him that to be able to fulfill the wish, they needed seven. I arrived on time. If I'm able to hold the last sphere, no matter what I do, I'm not going to give it to you. Vegeta would quickly start in search of the last Dragon Ball, so that he would end the lives of hundreds of villagers on that planet, completely failing. But Prince Vegeta, at the moment of a being able to leave, he was able to observe how the whole sky would turn a dark color, which on that planet should not happen. While in the distance, he was able to observe how Frieza had held a small villager to fulfill his wish. Vegeta, at a great speed, was able to move all over the place, being able to grant him a blow to Frieza asking in the same way for immortality. However, his wish would not be fulfilled. When he needed the original language, Vegeta would also hold the villager, but the incredible dragon instantly would spread all over the planet. That's right, the patriarch creator of the Dragon Balls had died, which left the spheres as simple rocks, which on this occasion, the evil emperor would be filled with anger, accessing his last form, causing the planet to shake due to all the power that Frieza was releasing. However, all over the planet, an incredible power was also beginning to be felt. That's right, the Prince of the Saiyans was accessing the Super Saiyan, which would leave Frieza surprised. I hope you're prepared, since the warrior you feared so much has appeared. And it's me. I can't believe that you're the legendary Super Saiyan. But no matter, you won't be able to do anything against me. The battle of both warriors would begin. Their battle at this moment would begin to destroy the planet completely. However, on the planet of Beerus, Kakarot would be able to feel a little key similar to his, as well as an extremely evil power. Hey Wiss, whose are those powers? Wiss, with his staff, he was able to realize that it was the Prince of the Saiyans, the evil Emperor of Frieza, informing Kakarot. Heh, <laughs> that'll be fun. I'd like to go to that place and meet another survivor of my race. And by the way, finish with that damn demon that finished with my planet. Do you want me to take you to the place where they met? No, Wiss, don't worry. I'm able to get there on my own. Right now, I plan to finish those damn worms. Kakarot, with great speed, was starting to move all over Universe 7, so it would arrive in the matter of a few minutes. Meanwhile, Beerus would start talking to Wiss. Hey, Wiss, I think it's time for the Saiyan to be able to meet other deities. How old does he currently possess? I think he's currently 17 years old, my lord, and the power he's able to channel is amazing. I think that's the age he is and the power he possesses. It's time for him to start getting to know other deities. My son will be able to rise to the top of all gods, I'm sure. And of course that I'm sure. The power he possesses at only 17 years old is amazing, since even the gods train for millions of years to be able to possess a similar power. Returning to the planet, Kakra had been able to arrive, beginning to observe the battle that both warriors were carrying. Kakara would observe the battle between both warriors. However, as the battle went on, hundreds of inhabitants were annihilated by such an aggressive battle. Although from Kakarot's point of view, the power of that battle was not of importance, since compared to his great power, it was absolutely nothing. This battle has no reason to drag on. 
because that bastard who calls himself Emperor must be eliminated, and there must be no more dead on this planet. So instantly, Kakarot was able to get in the middle of both warriors, being able to stop their next attack, which left both warriors surprised. What if you are the Saiyan who revealed himself to the end? Are you a Saiyan? How is it possible that you're able to stop the fist of the mighty prince of the Saiyans? I'm not interested in the questions you have. The battle's over for today. Because of your battle, several innocent people are dying. Ha ha ha! That's who's interested. So if you don't want to die, you better... Frieza wasn't able to finish his sentence, since Kakarot, with a quick movement that even Vegeta wasn't able to see, had been able to pass through Frieza with a single blow, which Frieza would fall to the ground on the verge of death, expelling large amounts of blood. What? Are you able to defeat Frieza with such enormous ease? This must be a joke, since I'm the most powerful Saiyan in this whole universe. <laughs> How wrong you are, since your power beside my power is absolutely nothing. You'd better leave and remove all the evil from your heart if you really want to become more powerful. Vegeta, furious at that humiliation, since he was indirectly rubbing him in the face that was much more powerful, had launched himself against Kakarot. But to his surprise, Kakarot, with only one of his fingers, was able to stop his blow. With a small sphere of compressed air, he was able to leave it was combat. So he would start walking towards Frieza's body, which was still alive. Please spare my life. I promise I'll leave, and I'll never come back. I don't know who you are, but it won't happen again. I promise. <laughs> of course I'll leave you alive. No problem since you'll only live with trauma that a much more powerful warrior than you appeared. And the worst of all is that it was a simple Saiyan. Kakarot with a great blow was able to send him flying off the planet because the power with which he had hit him was amazing. Kakarot would start quickly to return to his planet in which the instant he arrived, he would observe Beerus. <laughs> I don't know if I have to call you father or Mr. Beerus, but that doesn't matter. I'm surprised you're awake. It's time for you to meet many more deities. But first, I want to measure myself with you. Using all your power, I want to check that you've improved so much in these years. <laughs> so our battle against the god of destruction of this universe, this will be very interesting. Of course, yes. Don't worry, I'll use all my power. Kakarot, with a big smile that showed confidence, would begin to access the Super Saiyan Blue, with which the essence of Beerus' power had intensified. That's right, even though on this occasion Kakarot had not used the power of destruction, by all the power of Kakarot, the essence of the god Beerus could be perceived. So with a great flash of energy, Kakarot had completed his great transformation, which had both surprised the deities, since the power that was emanated surpassed all the gods, including Beerus in his resting state. I can't believe the power that's been able to get. He's definitely my son. He'd be a very powerful warrior. Beerus in the same way would expel his power, accessing the state beyond a god, with which, while accessing said state, hundreds of catastrophes were generated all over the planet of the god Beerus. Wiz quickly would help with his staff, he was able to prevent the powers of both from being perceived outside the universe 7, so as not to attract the attention of the other gods like the beings of the kingdom of the whole. Beerus, of a great explosion of destruction, was able to access his combat state. <laughs> it's time to show you who's boss. So I hope you're prepared for the defeat of your father. Heh <laughs> I feel confident enough to manage to beat you. So don't get as confident, as I'll use all my power. Both warriors, as if there were a few flashes, began to exchange thousands of blows all over the place. However, despite the fact that the planet of Beerus was gigantic, it was not enough for the battle of both warriors, which began to take beyond the planet of Beerus, since it would begin to spread over different inhospitable planets. Like the same Universe 7, Kakarot was able to observe an opening in the defense of Beerus. So with a powerful blow, he was able to send it to a planet, destroying it due to the great impact. <laughs> I warned you that if you didn't underestimate me, as I'm able to read your every move. Beerus, as long as he could stand and smoke was coming out of his body, he would give a small smile. <laughs> and you likewise don't underestimate me. I have millions of years of battlefield experience. From Kakarot's back, a giant destructive energy had formed, so instantly a fist was able to send him flying, being able to cause great damage to his entire body and internal energy. Did you think that opening was a mistake? 
I left that opening myself in order to be able to grant you this great attack. You have to learn all these lessons. Ah, this hurts too much. The stroke that has been able to connect with me was a technique that was amazing. My body hurts too. Kakar would stand up but again fall to the ground, while much more sangre was expelled from his body. Hell, the damage he has caused me is serious, but I know that I'm able to continue with this great battle. I'll not be defeated with a single attack. Kakarot would accelerate his blood rhythm, with which he would begin to heal every wound of his entire body. But the power condensed in each wound was considerable, since being destructive energy, the power that required to heal the wound was very demanding. Kakarot would stand up with little difficulty. I don't really have to trust myself, but since you have told me to trust your right, you, your experience surpasses me by a thousand times. But what matters is true power! Kakarot had moved at a great speed, with which he would begin to exchange thousands of blows against Beerus. However, on this occasion, although Kakarot's speed had increased in an amazing way, he wasn't able to connect any blows to him. Since Kakarot being cloudy, with being able to hit him, Beerus was able to dodge each of his blows. So Beerus, with a powerful kick, was able to send him to the lower part of the planet. He possesses incredible power, but he's still too young, as he's not able to control his emotions. For that reason, his movements are too clumsy. Kakrot, as if it were a lightning bolt, had been launched against Beerus again. But Beerus, with great elegance, was able to dodge each of his attacks. So with a destructive energy scythe, he was able to make Kakrot fall to the ground out of combat while his power had completely collapsed. Hey Wiss, have you observed the whole battle? What do you think about it? The movements of the Saiyan. To be honest, the power he is able to release is amazing, but not having full control of his emotions, his attacks and defense are pathetic. It's the simple as I thought. So, the next workout, instead of being physical, will have to be a mental workout. <laughs> it's the same as I've thought, and maybe with the next training I'll be able to reach the Ultra Instinct, since it requires a level of total control. Yeah, don't doubt my son, but I think it's too early. He's not even capable of mastering his emotions yet, much less the Ultra Instinct. Don't trust yourself, Mr. Beerus. Don't forget that you are a cross between a god and the most powerful warrior race that has ever existed. Meanwhile, in the outer space, the ship of Frieza's father, the powerful King Cold, was able to find his beloved son dying. So he had asked to give proper care so he'd be able to recover. Who is the necessary power to leave my powerful son in these conditions? This must be impossible. The powerful Frieza would be taken to a recovery machine, in which began the cells would regenerate again. For his part, on the planet, the Prince of the Saiyans, upon awakening, would take his ship and leave in the same way, being with multiple injuries. Damn, my body hurts! And the worst thing of all is that it's not because of that damn Frieza. It's because of the only blow I see from that Saiyan. What is his name like? He has unreal strength. Vegeta would become unconscious while heading to an inhospitable planet on which he wished to continue his great training. Returning to the planet of Beerus after a few hours, Kakra had been able to wake up with a strong discomfort throughout his body. Ah, this hurts too much. The power of Lord Beerus is amazing. I can't believe it. Well, well, apparently you've woken up. How did it feel fighting Mr. Beerus? It's been amazing. I want to be as powerful as he is, and I know that to become this powerful, I have to train much more. So I will. Meanwhile, in a very distant place of the Twelve Universes, the powerful Yamoshi was beginning to move slightly. That's right, the battle against the god Beerus had not caused him that damage, but he needed to incubate to be able to evolve to a new level of power. Apparently, in a few months or years, I'll be able to fully awaken. I already want to destroy everything existing. For his part, Whis, realizing, as his god of destruction on this occasion even gave his life for Kakarot, he would leave again for the Kingdom of the All, to finish the talk he had left pending with the Great Priest. After a few minutes of travel, he was able to reach the Kingdom of the All, being received by his father Daishenken. You've taken longer than expected, but I hope the whole thing is sorted out, Whis. Sorry for the delay, father, but that's right, the whole match has been resolved without having any problems. Daishenken along with Wisp began to talk for a few moments, in which apparently the kings of each of the multiverses wished that the multiverse of Xenosama participate in this tournament, since 50 trillion years ago that the multiverse of Xenosama does not appear in this great multiverse tournament. 
Excuse the question, father, but why haven't we participated in these last 50 trillion years? Even we are not that old. You are correct, Wiss. Even we're not that old. But we have not had the opportunity to have a powerful warrior represent us. Since even I, the most powerful angel of this multiverse, am nothing to compare to these warriors. I understand, father. In that case, first we must all find an extremely powerful warrior to represent us. And we will think about the strategy later. Since it doesn't matter the strategy, if we don't have warriors, it's useless. I agree with you, Wiss. Let's hope that in the next 2,000 years we'll find some warrior, since the tournament will take place in 4 million years. I understand, Father. We'll do our best to find the right warrior. While Wiss was returning to the planet of the god Beerus, he would say to himself, I'm sure that the warrior that will be able to represent us will be Kakarot, since at such a young age he's able to possess all that great power. In a few thousand years, he will surpass even the king of the whole. But Wiss was surprised because the instant he arrived, he was able to observe how Beerus was on the verge of death, while a mysterious warrior stepped on Beerus' head. However, an incredible power was felt all over the planet. That's right, Kakarot had access to the state of Azaru, combining it with the destructive energy of his father. But unlike before, the power that emanated on this occasion was surprising. While likewise, on this occasion, he had not completely lost consciousness. I'll annihilate you! I'll annihilate you! I WILL FORGIVE YOU FOR LEAVING MY FATHER IN SUCH CONDITIONS! Kakarot, despite being transformed into Ozaru, would begin to access a new transformation, which this time was capable of shaking the Twelve Universes. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.